हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम सुदर्शन आई एम थर्ड ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट जी एम सी लातूर एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज न्यू स्टिगमिन और एंटीकोलिन स्टरेज थेरापेटिक यूजेस ओके सो आइर दे आर आस्क यू द न्यू स्टिगमिन थेरापेटिक यूजेस और एंटीकोलिन स्टरेज थेरापेटिक यूजेस फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंटीकोलिन स्टरेज आई हैव मेड अ सेपरेट वीडियो डू चेक आउट दैट वीडियो ऑल्सो फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड नाउ विल गो one by one so trick to remember the therapeutic uses is my back post pg with rmo okay my for myasthenia gravis b for belladonna poisoning a for alzheimer's disease c for cobra white post for post operative paralytic ileus next p for prevention of adhesion between the iris and lens g for glaucoma r for refraction testing not in refractions not in refraction testing but after the ref refraction testing we use anticholin esterases okay and the last use is o for other drug overdoses like by the tcas and antihistaminics what are tcas tricyclic antidepressants so first of all <clears throat> we will go one by one now first of all myasthenia gravis what is myasthenia gravis it is an autoimmune disorder in this case auto antibodies are formed against nicotinic receptors at the nmj what nicotinic receptors nm receptors okay so for better understanding of this topic i have made a separate video on myasthenia gravis treatment so do check out that video next uh, point is uh, in this case there is weakness and easy fatigability of the muscles so neostigmine is used in this case it is a first line drug it restores muscle strength what is the dose of neostigmin that is used 15 mg orally 6 hourly the dose and the frequency is adjusted later based on the condition okay next use is belladonna poisoning in this case physostigmin 0.5 to 2 mg intravenously it is a specific antidote and neostigmin is also used in this case okay next use is alzheimer's disease what is alzheimer's disease it is a neurodegenerative disorder in this case there is progress progressive dementia what is dementia it is a loss of ability to remember things so it is progressive with time okay uh, in this case rivastigmine donepezil and galantamine these are the anticholine esterases which are used then cobra white in this case neostigmine plus atropine is used they prevent the respiratory paralysis next use is post operative paralytic ileus in this case neostigmine 0.5 to 1 mg is used subcutaneously this is important subcutaneously next prevention of adhesion between iris and lens next use is glaucoma in this case pilocarpin is preferred why it is preferred because it has rapid action and it is short lasting in action okay uh, physostigmin is used as a supplement to the pilocarpin so what this drug does is they increase the tone of ciliary and sphincter pupillae muscles which leads to increase in outflow and decrease in intraocular tension iot means intraocular tension in case of open angle glaucoma so after refraction testing not in the refraction testing we use anticholine esterases after refraction testing they reverse the effects of mydriatics like atropine last use is other drug overdoses by the tcas and antihistaminics what are tcas tricyclic cyclic antidepressants okay in this case physostigmine is used so thank you for watching if you like this video do subscribe to my channel